always follow the signs to the viewpoint because it might surprise you. Actually, this didn't really surprise us because it's, it, it is a nice viewpoint, so, you know. What? I'm Zoe. And I'm Simon. And since our first trip together over a decade ago, we've taken every opportunity we can get to travel, explore new countries and try new food. In this video series we are flying to Italy for a two-week trip to eat lots of great food while also exploring Italy's countryside by car. After arriving in Tuscany yesterday, we made ourselves comfortable in our beautiful Agriturismo. And today, fully rested and with renewed appetite, it was time to continue our exploration of towns in Tuscany. So when it comes to sites to explore in Tuscany, you'll be spoiled by choice because there's just so much to see. And it's easy to get discouraged when you don't get to see everything. Well, that's okay. Best thing to do is just pick a few places that look nice and then just go and visit those. And they are probably going to be incredible. So the plan for today is to visit a few places that are close by. And we will start with this place here, Montepulciano. What time is it? It's convertible time, which is right between breakfast time and pasta time. So apart from offering really great views and some nice architecture, Montepulciano is especially known of course for its wine. So if you come here, bring a lot of time and maybe leave the car at home because you've got tons of wineries here and you can pretty much spend the whole day just tasting and looking at wine cellars, which is a pretty good way to spend your day. Montepulciano definitely is a more touristy city compared to others we've visited here in Tuscany and also in the marches. There are a lot of little food shops that you can do tastings in and you can buy souvenirs so you kind of guess they are here for the tourists but if you just wander around a bit and walk through the little areas even just a few steps away from the main road you get the area just for yourself and you can have some nice views and it's very quiet here of course it's time for gelato it's always already dripping when i come out of the gelateria <laughs> and it's really hard to eat because <laughs> it's like a, a square scoop tasty Approved. I found a nice spot to eat my gelato. <laughs> also a very dangerous spot. Nah, it's fine. Well, I just shouldn't look down. Always follow the signs to the viewpoint because it might surprise you. Actually, this didn't really surprise us because it's, it, it is a nice viewpoint, so, you know. What? <laughs> just always follow the signs to the viewpoint. It makes sense um, because there often is a viewpoint at the end of where the signs to the viewpoint lead you. Actually, there's always a viewpoint. There, well, there's always a viewpoint. I'm just saying it's not always, you know, like a view viewpoint. I mean, sometimes the view is meh and, and this time it, it was very good. It's a very good viewpoint. Um, that's what I'm trying to say. It's a good one. We are leaving Montepulciano for now. We are actually returning for dinner later. And we are continuing our town hopping <laughs> of ancient uh, towns. And we're going to Pienza. Are you excited? Yes. 
I am. Pienza is just next door of Monte Bolciano and it's a little bit smaller but it's also supposed to be very beautiful and it also has its own food speciality that we will be checking out there. In addition to being an UNESCO World Heritage Site, Pienza is also the home of Pecorino. And the Pecorino di Pienza is one of the most famous versions of Pecorino. So of course we have to try some here. I ordered the Pici, which are handmade noodles here from Tuscany with cacio e pepe, which is with Pecorino and the pepper. It's, it's so nice. The Pecorino cheese has this really rich and deep taste and we read that it's because of the different varieties of grasses that are common here in Tuscany and so the cows eat it and the milk gets this nice taste from it and that's why Pecorino cheese also has such a distinctive flavor and you can really taste it in this dish together with the pepper which is quite spicy it's just a really nice combination even though it's very simple but it's one of these dishes that you've got to try that's a lot of cheese I'm really happy with my order. This uh, tasting platter gives a really good overview of what pecorino can be. From the young one, which is a bit has a different texture, it's a bit more smooth, to the older one, which is more like a parmesan or another cheese you would um, eat with pasta. Um, but they're all really good. I don't know what this is or what this crust is. Could be mold. Great. In a good way. <laughs> <laughs> so this red marmalade seems to be a bell pepper one and it's a great addition to the pecorino cheese. But I like the oldest one the best because it has the strongest taste. So in 1405 a guy named Piccolomini was born here in this town and he later became Pope Pius II. And when he had all this power and influence, he decided to reshape his hometown into the ideal Renaissance village. And he also renamed the town after himself into Pienza. And so that is how the current version basically of this town was born. And it's got this very special layout of the buildings and also the types of buildings that are in this town were very much influenced by him and later on Pienza was also used as a kind of blueprint for other European towns as it's seen as very idyllic and the ideal way of building a town. It is very practical for example that all of the roads here lead to the main square so you can't really get lost and you will always find the main square so that's kind of a nice benefit. <laughs> um, and Pienza is really a super nice town. Um, it is of course very similar to places like Montepulciano and all of the other towns here in the area but it's got this quite calm vibe going on and you've got some really nice views, nice viewpoints as well. Okay, I think this is the most scenic view we've had here in Tuscany and it's right at the wall of Pienza It's unbelievable And with that it was time to head back to Montepulciano for dinner to complete our first day of exploring Tuscany With towns, views and food like this it's easy to see why Tuscany is such a popular destination in Italy and in the next video, we'll take a closer look and taste at the region's famous wine. We really hope you liked this video. If yes, subscribe to join us on our trip.